Hey guys, John from FlyingMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to be talking about the E6B, how to use that whiz wheel to find density altitude. So we're going to take into account our temperature, our pressure altitude to find our density altitude. And honestly, if we have either of those, two of those three things, we can find the other third one. So we don't necessarily always have to find density altitude. We could be given density altitude and then in turn find our pressure altitude with the temperature. So let's go ahead. First thing we're going to do is dial up our altimeter to 29 or 9 or 2, find our pressure altitude, and then also look at our temperature outside and find our temperature. So let's say pressure altitude is 2,000 feet, and we read that from the altimeter with 29 or 9 or 2. And then we go ahead and set our temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. So we've got 10, 20, and then 2,000 feet. We've got those two lines lined up there. And we simply just read through the top here, we have about a 3,000 foot density altitude. So the aircraft would behave as if it was at 3,000 feet in less dense air, less power, less climb performance, those types of things. If we go ahead and say we set uh, 4,000 feet for our pressure altitude and 30 degrees Celsius on a slightly warmer day, we would go to 4,000 foot pressure altitude and 30 degrees Celsius, line up those two lines there, and then read we have about a 6,500 foot density altitude. So the density is even higher with a higher temperature and higher pressure altitude. Let's go ahead and just say we increase the temperature 20 degrees now and go from that 3,000 foot, um, or I'm sorry, that 4,000 foot pressure altitude at 30 degrees to 4,000 feet at 50 degrees Celsius, and we can see it rises all the way up to almost 9,000 foot density altitude. So you're starting to get towards the upper limit of the airplane that could even fly at. So you want to reconsider maybe taking off at that high density altitude on that uh, very warm, low pressure day. If we find our pressure altitude to be zero feet and we're at 15 degrees Celsius, we'll see that's on a standard day. Our density altitude will be roughly the same, zero feet. But if we just go from zero feet sea level with pressure altitude up to 40 degrees Celsius on a very warm day, we can see we climb up to 3,000 foot density altitude. So now we've got 3,000 feet as our density altitude. Just that increase in temperature decreases the aircraft performance that much. So as long as we have one of these two things, we can find the third one. Very simple to do. You're just lining up these two lines or lining that up on your density altitude and then finding where that other line intersects the other one to find all three items there, as long as you have two givens. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on our video and you can subscribe to us to follow all our latest episodes over here on the right. Also, go ahead and check out some of these videos down below. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly 8 We'll see you all next time.